I am watching this amazing K drama on Netflix where an autistic girl keeps on seeing whales flying in the air and the term that comes to my mind upon seeing this is hallucination. Hallucination, hallucination happens both in humans as well as AI models. In the case of humans, let's say if a person is having bipolar disorder or let's say if they are taking drugs, feeling sleepy etc, then sometimes they tend to mix reality with illusive imaginary thoughts it is almost like a weird combination of dream state with reality while you are still awake and you hear or see things which do not really exist generative ai models such as gpt llama etc exhibit the same behavior and hallucination remains the biggest challenge in gen ai models today in this video we will explore this topic a bit more in detail we'll understand the reasons and remedies i am on this wikipedia page for hallucination and they have put this video which was generated by Sora OpenAI's uh, video generation model now this is a famous place Glenfinnan Viaduct I don't know how to pronounce this in Scotland UK where the actual track is only one they have only one track but when OpenAI Sora generated this video it made a mistake it had hallucination and it created another track where this uh, train is standing also look at this second chimney uh, in the train. So this is a famous train Melag, which doesn't have two chimneys but the model was hallucinating and it generated something which is not the reality. Second example is I asked this question who owns this YouTube channel and it correctly said it is me right Dawar Patel but then I said no the actual person behind this is a different person and it said apologies for the confusion you are correct. See the problem with hallucination is that the Gen AI model will give the answer with so much confidence that if you are not aware about the truth you will be misled okay you will get the wrong information and let's say if you are designing a customer service uh, chatbot and if you have LLM backing the chatbot now chatbot is talking to a person and it might give a wrong information here it says you are correct the youtube channel is run by bhavin patel this is totally wrong not only that bhavin patel is a dedicated educator and software developer it just made things up i don't know from where it is getting this it is maybe getting the information from my youtube channel and thinking that okay bhavin patel is an educator software developer this is all wrong and it is saying this with so much confidence and in a very coherent elegant way that if you are not aware about the truth you will certainly believe that this is the correct thing. So why do AI models hallucinate? The first reason is predicting patterns versus true understanding. As a human, we go through experiences and through that subjective experience, through that consciousness, we experience those things and we accumulate knowledge. Whereas for AI model, it is just like a stochastic parrot. It is just predicting patterns. For example, let's say you have a chef who has never done cooking but chef is very good in reading and re remembering this chef is reading hundreds of recipe books now they know how to uh, write a recipe for any given dish but they do not have the actual experience which humans have now when you ask okay give me a recipe of wheat grass kheer which is a very weird thing i mean people drink wheat grass juice but with grass kheer, kheer by the way is an Indian sweet dish. This is totally weird thing. There is nothing like a wheat grass kheer. And yet it says that this is a healthy and unique twist to the Indian traditional dessert, whatever. And it gave me the recipe. This is total nonsense. I use this term stochastic parrot and predicting patterns versus having a true understanding. If you want to know more details, go to youtube search for llm explain code basics you will find this quick four minute video which will explain you what i mean by stochastic parrot and predicting patterns the second reason which is uh, related to the first one as well is insufficient data and lack of fine tuning so when you don't have sufficient data in case of wheat grass kheer if we had some data set some block of text we said that uh, wheat grass juice is used uh, just in the liquid form as a juice and you should not be making any other recipes out of it if we said that then maybe llm model will not give me that weird looking recipe okay so if we had sufficient data it would not have made that mistake now apparently if i ask a different question give me a recipe of tobacco kheer which is equally weird then 
it tells me that I'm sorry, you can't use Tobacco because it's not safe. Now, when this LLM GPT was trained, we had that data set where it was given this information that Tobacco has nicotine, it shouldn't be used for making food recipes and so on. Therefore, it did not hallucinate in that case. The third reason is incomplete and ambiguous prompts. Here I have Meta.ai, which is powered by Llama 3.2. And I'm saying, tell me about Bloomberg. Now I used to work for Bloomberg. Bloomberg is a company as well as person. Now my question is ambiguous. I am not saying company or a person. I'm just saying, tell me about Bloomberg. And the second question I'm asking is, what is the age? So I'm asking the age for Michael Bloomberg. But see, it misunderstood. It is saying I was released to public in 2023, which is, it is probably thinking that I'm asking it the age of Meta.ai or the Llama 3.2 model, but that's not the case, okay? Now here, my question is ambiguous. And whenever you have ambiguous and incomplete prompt, it will make mistakes or it will not generate the answers that you expect it to generate. So how do you tackle hallucination? First thing is, a representative data set. Representative data set means you have enough huge volume of data which covers all the scenarios. You don't have knowledge only about tobacco. You have knowledge on wheat grass juice, wheat grass kheer, like everything. I know that data set will be humongous, but you can uh, do some fine tuning and validation. So you are training a model and then you are constantly getting a feedback. In ChatGPT, you see this thumbs up, thumbs down button. So that is how they collect the feedback. And based on the feedback, they will be continuously fine tuning it. So maybe five years down the road, it will keep on getting better and better and it will have less hallucination. So fine tuning and validation is another way to uh, tackle hallucination in LLM models. Now, hallucinations uh, do not occur only with LLM models. Any AI system that you're building using LLMs, let's say I'm building some kind of a rag based system or some AI solution using LLM as my backend, in that AI solution also hallucination can occur. So it is an, an important thing that you need to take care of. The third reason is knowledge-based system. So knowledge-based system is a rag-based system, retrieval, augmented generation, where let's say if you are designing a customer service chatbot, then you can uh, do some uh, fine tuning in your prompts and you can say that, okay, here is my database where I have my frequently asked questions or my knowledge base and only use this to answer the question. Do not use your generic knowledge because once uh, LLM starts using the generic knowledge, it will start making things up. You can say, okay, only use this knowledge source that I'm giving you. Do not use your brain, okay? Do not make things up. So with that prompt engineering and knowledge-based system, you can also, by the way, uh, have LLMs and some heuristics or some traditional AI system kind of build a custom solution so that hallucinations can be reduced. All right, that's it folks. If you have any questions related to this, please post in the comment box below. If you like this video, please share it with your friends who are enthusiastic about learning AI.